In this Phantom Wallet tutorial for beginners, I am going to show you step by step how to use the Phantom Wallet to send and receive cryptocurrencies and to use various other features like the swap feature, connecting and using various dApps, adding various tokens to your wallet, and staking your Solana in the Phantom Wallet. So let's not waste any more time and get started. The first thing we are going to do is to head over to the Phantom app. This is the official website of the Phantom Wallet. You can check it out if you want. Now you have to click on this download icon in the top right corner and choose which device you are using. Phantom has recently released a mobile wallet, but at the time of recording this video, this is only available for iOS users. Now, I am choosing Chrome from this as I am using a laptop. As soon as you click on it, you will be redirected to the Chrome Web Store. Click on Add to Chrome and Phantom will be added to your Extensions tab and you will be redirected to this page where you have to set up your Phantom Wallet. If you have previously used Phantom and have the secret recovery phrase to your old account, you can get the account back by importing your secret recovery phrase. You can do that by clicking on this button, but for the purpose of this video, I am going to show you how to create a new wallet. So to create a new wallet, click on this button. Now you will be shown the secret recovery phrase to your wallet. Write it down or save it in any password manager you like. Do not lose this phrase as this is the only way you will be able to recover your account. Now you will have to create a password for your wallet. Make sure to use a strong password. After entering your password, check this little box to agree to the terms of service and hit continue. You can press Alt plus Shift plus P on your keyboard to open Phantom easily. Now click on continue and then finish. Now, you can go over to the Extensions tab in your browser, which is this small icon in the top right corner of your browser, and open your Phantom Wallet. As you could see, this is the main interface of the Phantom Wallet. I will now give you an overview of this interface. To the top of this interface, you can see your wallet address. You can copy it by clicking on it. You can use it to send tokens or NFT to this wallet. On the left, you have this icon. If you open it, you can see all of the wallets that you have created. You can also create a wallet from here, import an existing one, or connect to your Ledger hardware wallet. To create a new one, you can click on Create, and a new wallet will be created. You can also switch between all of your wallets from here. You can also go to the Help and Support page from here and lock your wallet by clicking on this icon. If you come back to the main interface, you can see your total balance here, and all of your assets will show up down here. Right now, this is completely blank, as we haven't added any tokens to the wallet. To add a token to our list, click on this button, and then type in the name of the token that you want to add to your wallet. Now click on this small toggle button right here, and like that, we have added the Solana token to our Phantom Wallet. Now just click on Close, and we can go back to the home page. Now, I will show you how to send your Solana token to any other wallet address that you want. To do so, click on the token that you want to send and click on this send button. After that, paste the wallet address that you want to send your coins to and enter the amount. Now click on next and you will have to confirm this transaction. After doing it, your transaction will be completed. Now, to receive tokens to this wallet, you just have to click over here to copy your wallet address and then head over to any exchange or wallet that you are using to send tokens to this wallet. Paste it in there and complete the transaction. After a few seconds, your tokens will show up in this wallet. If you are using the FTX exchange, you can directly transfer your tokens from FTX over to Phantom by clicking on this button. If you don't already have an account in FTX, I will add a link in the description to create one. You can also purchase some Solana directly from this wallet using MoonPay by clicking on this button right here. Now, if you come over to this tab, you can see all the NFTs in your Phantom Wallet. You can send them over to this wallet by pasting this wallet address while sending your NFT now. If you come over to this tab, you can swap your Solana tokens for some other tokens. To do so, select the token that you want to swap from, enter the amount, select the token that you want to swap to, and if you want, you can change the slippage here. Now, click on Review Order and then Confirm, like that, your transaction will be completed. If you come over to this tab right here, you can see all the transactions that you have executed from here. Now, if you click on this icon, you can go to the settings in your Phantom Wallet. 
If you want, you can change your wallet name by clicking over here. You can change your default language if you want. And you can add the wallet addresses that you commonly use over here to easily send tokens to that address. You can also manage all your trusted apps from here. If you want, you can also change your password from here. You can change the auto lock timer from here. And if you want, you can switch your network from the mainnet to any other you want from here. Always make sure to leave it on the mainnet. Now if you want, you can export your private key by clicking on this button and entering your password. If you lost your secret recovery phrase, you can click on this button, enter your password and copy your recovery phrase from here. You can also reset your wallet by clicking on this button right here. So that was all about the settings in the Phantom Wallet. Now, I will show you how to stake the Solana tokens in your Phantom Wallet. To do so, come back to the main dashboard and click on Solana token from your assets list. Make sure to add the Solana tokens that you want to stake to your wallet. Now, click on Start Earning Solana and then select whichever validator that you want to stake your Solana with. Enter the amount, click on Stake, and then confirm the transaction. Now your Solana will be staked with this validator, and if you want to know more about this validator, you can click on this small icon right here and read about this validator. Now, I will show you how to use your Phantom Wallet with other decentralized applications in the Solana blockchain. For the purpose of this video, I am going to show you how to use your Phantom Wallet with Radium. To do so, head over to radium.io, now click on Launch App, and then click on this Connect button on the top right corner of this tab. Choose Phantom from this list, and now click on Connect. Like that, you have connected your Phantom Wallet to Radium. You can now use all the features in the Radium app with your Phantom Wallet. So that's how you can connect your Phantom Wallet to other dApps. Now, I will show you how to use the Phantom Wallet with Solanart. Solanart is a marketplace in the Solana blockchain where you can buy and sell your NFTs. I have made a video explaining how to use Solanart in detail. Make sure to watch it if you are planning to buy an NFT in the Solana blockchain. To use Solanart, Head over to solanart.io. Now click on Select Wallet. Click on Phantom, and then click on Connect. You have successfully connected your Phantom Wallet to Solanart. Now, click on Explore, and you can scroll through all these collections and choose an NFT to purchase, and click on Buy Now. If you have enough balance in your wallet, your transaction will go through, and your NFT will show up in the My Collectibles tab in your Phantom Wallet. Like that, you can purchase any NFT from the Solanart Marketplace. So that was it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like down below. And if you want more of these videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I will see you soon. Bye.